And this investigation comes as Mayor Joe Hogsett reveals a plan aimed at reducing gun violence in the city. So it would include major changes to an ordinance outlining who can carry a gun in Marion County. There would be a complete ban on semi-automatic rifles. The proposal would raise the age to buy a far firearm from 18 to 21, and it would end permitless and concealed carry in Indianapolis. Logan Gay reports the plan has people fired up on both sides. Ryan Baden with Baden's Firearms and Ammunition says he's paying close attention to Mayor Joe Hogsett's new gun restrictions. I feel like if you can say her fight for this country, you should be able to say her purchase a rifle. Young adults now have been uh, shooting with their parents, uh, have been going to gun ranges uh, as early as the age of six. Yeah, I'll probably get at least six to maybe 12 customers a week that are waiting on their age of 18. They come in with their parents. Mayor Joe Hoxett made the announcement Thursday. We will submit to our city county council a package of gun safety measures that if passed will immediately become law should state preemption be abolished for the city of Indianapolis. Baden says a large portion of the sales are from people ages 18 to 21. What does that do for the city when it comes to, you know, uh, young families? You know, I mean, a lot of people purchase semi-automatic, you know, rifles out of my store that are 19 years old or 18 to protect their family. He agrees the city has a violence problem, but believes the solution starts at home with better gun education. A lot of the times, too, as well, you got kids uh, managing kids. Um, and that was responsible as us adults or whatever. We need to be more responsible and kind of do it, you know what I mean, or raising our kids and, and being uh, more involved. You know what I mean? It's, it's, good. it's a community effort. You know, if the new ordinances go through. He's worried it could negatively impact the sales, but also create some confusion for his customers. We just have to look at that a bigger aspect and just collectively, you know, what I mean, try to come up with, you know, a plan and a process that will work for uh, the city, but also will not impose on people's rights. I could see how it would be a bit confusing. So, Logan, what else is in the mayor's plan? Well, he talked about a lot of things today, inclu including increasing IMPD officers' pay, and he wants to hire three new city attorneys to work with the U.S. Attorney's Office to punish violent criminals with harsher federal sentences. Okay. Mm -hmm. Logan, thank you. Thank you.